So what will you do with this product? I was not able to sell 100 pieces of this product in the market. So he then introduced me that this is a concept of a government. They buy and then they distribute it free of cost to the Anganwadis in the government and the education department. So I was very curious again, ki, uh, I asked him that you buy the entire range from me if it is go, uh, distributed free of cost. So then he told me about the tender. I went with him different states just to know how it is happening and all. So that time the government departments were like, we are not here to give you the training centers. We are not the training centers. Only those who have the experience and the experience of the tenders. So I told them that we are ma manufacturing the products. आपको ध्यान होगा मन की बात के एक एपिसोड में मैंने कहा था कि भारत के पास टॉयल एक्सपोर्स में हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दोस्तों मैं हूं आपका होस्ट एंड दोस्त शुभम आप देख रहे हैं इंजीनियर ऑन रोड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल और जैसा कि आपने पहले वीडियोस देखा होगा खन्ना टॉयज की जहां पर एवरी जो भी खिलौने हैं इनकी इन हाउस डिजाइनिंग है इन हाउस मैन्युफैक्चरिंग है और जो पहला वीडियोज़ मैंने बनाया था उन पर काफ़ी पॉजिटिव रिस्पॉन्स भी आए और लोगों ने काफ़ी अप्रिसिएट किया क्योंकि इस इंडस्ट्रीज़ में क्या है कि चाइनीज़ का ज़्यादा इफेक्ट है और वहाँ पर लोग जान भी नहीं पाते हैं कि भाई हमारे इंडिया में भी ऐसी ऐसी कंपनीज़ है जो अच्छे तरीके के बेस्ट क्वालिटी में आपको यहाँ पर खिलौने बनाते हैं और जैसा कि सर का बनाया मैंने बनाया था वीडियो और काफ़ी सालों से ये इस इंडस्ट्रीज़ में है तो आज सर की जर्नी दिखाने वाले हैं और स्पेशल मैंने रिक्वेस्ट किया था क्योंकि कि काफ़ी पॉजिटिव रिस्पांस आ रहे थे तो सर के से रिक्वेस्ट किया कि सर आप अपनी जर्नी दिखाओ क्योंकि अगर इस एरिया में कोई आना चाहते हैं या स्टार्टअप करना चाहते हैं तो उनके लिए एक रास्ता भी मिल सके और इस इंडस्ट्रीज़ को टॉयज इंडस्ट्रीज़ को काफ़ी आगे बढ़ाया जा सके तो वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सर थैंक यू वेरी मच आपने जैसे एग्जीबिशन में आ, शूटिंग करी आपने और यूट्यूब चैनल पर डाला तो काफ़ी इंक्वायरीज आई हैं और मेच्योर भी हुई हैं जो कि हमारे पास होलसेलर से लेके ओएम तक की हमारे पास रिक्वायरमेंट है और उसको हमने फुलफिल भी करी है सो so, आपने मुझे कहा कि भाई आप जर्नी बताइए इसलिए मैंने आपको इनवाइट करा और यहाँ पर आपको इंसाइट्स मिलेंगे हमने कैसे काम करा मैंने कैसे काम करा हमारी थर्ड जनरेशन होने के बाद भी सो मैनी चैलेंजेस आर देयर क्योंकि चाइना आपने जो राइटली बोला नाइन्टीज़ में चाइना स्टार्ट हुआ नाइन्टी में मैंने ज्वाइन करा उसके बाद हमने इंडियन को फोकस करा और अब तो मोदी जी के सपोर्ट से मोदी जी के फोकस से इंडियन पर काफ़ी डिमांड आ रही है जो इंडिया विल बी द हब फॉर द टॉयज एक्सपोर्ट्स कमिंग टाइम में ऑलरेडी स्टार्ट हो चुका है यू से डेलीगेशन आई थी उन्होंने काफ़ी ऑर्डर्स दिए हैं ई पी सी एच हो रही है उसमें भी हम पार्टिसिपेट कर रहे हैं आप भी आइए वेलकम है दैट इज़ फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी सिक्स अगस्त टू ट्वेंटी एट अगस्त वहाँ पर हमारे प्रोडक्ट्स होंगे बट दैट इज़ ओनली फोकस्ड ऑन एक्सपोर्ट्स ई पी सी एच एक्सपोर्ट प्रमोशन काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया कर रही है सेकेंड hmm. हमारे पास एक्सपोर्ट की अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ है गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ने अभी हमारे को आंगनवाड़ीज़ के लिए काफ़ी अच्छे बजट्स दिए हैं स्पोर्ट्स काउंसिल जो है वो हम स्पोर्ट्स और टॉयज़ के दोनों टेंडर्स कर रहे हैं सो so, आप आएंगे उसमें भी आपको मिलेगा प्लस यहाँ पर आप देखेंगे कि मैं हमने क्या जनी रही है क्या हमारे लिए चैलेंजेस रहे हैं हमने कैसे फेस करें डायरेक्ट दिल से आपको बताएंगे नथिंग उसमें कुछ भी एग्जैक्चुरेट नहीं होगा जी 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 सर जैसे कोई अगर इस इंडस्ट्रीज़ में आना चाहते हैं स्टार्टअप करना चाहते हैं आ, उनके लिए आप क्या बोलना चाहेंगे सर बहुत अच्छी अपॉर्चुनिटी है आप मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सेक्टर में आते हैं तो भी आप वेलकम हैं क्योंकि हमारी इंडस्ट्री में क्या है आ, बहुत ज़्यादा इन्वेस्टमेंट इन्वॉल्व नहीं है जो कारीगर हैं जो लेबर हैं उसके लिए भी बहुत काम है क्योंकि हैंडवर्क बहुत है और यहाँ बहुत सारे क्लस्टर्स बन रहे हैं वो गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया सपोर्ट कर रही है प्लस क्या है आप मैनुफैक्चरिंग में आना चाहें तो छोटी पूंजी से आप स्टार्ट कर सकते हैं आप डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन चैनल पे आ सकते हैं मैं तो कहूँगा आप पहले रिटेल अपना खोलिए रिटेल में मार्जिन भी अच्छा है छोटी लागत से स्टार्ट कर सकते हैं होलसेल में करना चाहें तो साथ साथ आप होलसेल भी कर सकते हैं आपको मार्जिन मिलेगा 100 परसेंट हम अपनी क्वालिटी एश्योरेंस देते हैं हंड्रेड क्वालिटी एश्योरेंस जो है वो लवली ब्रांड पर हम आपको देते हैं अपने ब्रांड पर अगर कोई भी मैनुफैक्चरिंग डिफेक्ट है तो हम आपको सपोर्ट करते हैं मार्जिन आपके पास अच्छे हैं तो हमारी तरफ से 100 परसेंट सपोर्ट है टाइम बहुत फेवर कर रहा है चाइना का इंपोर्ट बहुत डाउन हो गया इंडियन एक्सपोर्ट्स के लिए बहुत बढ़ रहा है इंडिया का प्रोडक्शन बहुत बढ़ रहा है वैरायटी बहुत बढ़ रही है तो इट इज़ अ गोल्डन अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ फॉर टॉयस सो अगर आप इस इंडस्ट्रीज़ में आना चाहते हैं मैनुफैक्चरिंग में हो रिटेलिंग में हो होल में हो किसी भी तरह से आना चाहते हैं तो आपके लिए गोल्डन अपॉर्चुनिटी है गवर्नमेंट भी काफ़ी हेल्प कर रहे हैं और यहाँ पर जो भी इंडस्ट्रीज़ के ऑनर्स है और जो भी लोग इनमें वर्क कर रहे हैं वो भी आपकी काफ़ी हेल्प करने वाले हैं हम सर ऐसी मीटिंग इसलिए करते रहते हैं कि इसमें कुछ एक्सपोर्टर्स भी होते हैं और जो डिफरेंट इंडस्ट्री के लोग आते हैं उनसे भी हमें बहुत सीखने को
हमारी लाइन के नहीं है बट कस्टमर्स आर कॉमन टारगेट ऑडियंस आर कॉमन चाहे वो एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट से हो वो भी हमें सिखाते हैं कि आज की डिमांड uh, क्या है सो so, उसको हम लर्निंग करके फिर उसको इम्प्लीमेंट करते हैं मैं आपको एक डायनामिक इंडस्ट्री जैसे हमारी टॉयज़ इंडस्ट्री है वैसे लेडीज़ हैंड बैग्स स्कूल बैग्स इंडस्ट्री के लीजेंट से मिलवाता हूँ उनका एलिगेंस बैग है जैसे हमारा टॉयज़ इंडस्ट्री ग्रो कर रहा है वैसे इनका बैग इंडस्ट्री भी हैंडीक्राफ्ट इंडस्ट्री बहुत ग्रो कर रहा है सो ही इज़ मिस्टर वेब ऑफ जैन फ्रॉम एलिगेंस बैग अगेन सेकेंड जनरेशन एंड वेरी डायनामिक सर वेलकम टू माई चैनल सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर आई एम वेब ऑफ जैन फ्रॉम एलिगेंस बैग्स प्राइवेट लिमिटेड वी आर दन ऑफ द ओल्डेस्ट मैनुफैक्चर एक्सपोर्टर्स फ्राम इंडिया सर हमसे पुराना इस इंडस्ट्री में कोई भी नहीं मिलेगा आपको हमसे अच्छा हमसे सस्ता हमसे बढ़िया कोई नहीं मिलेगा जल्दी मिलते हैं सर के चैनल पे आपको वेरी सुन थैंक यू सो नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट माय बिजनेस सो इट स्टार्टेड इन 1948 बाय माय ग्रैंडफादर सो बाय द नेम ऑफ खन्ना टॉयज एंड सिंस देन वी वर इन टू मेक इन इंडिया टॉयज and there were small factories they used to make toys and we used to supply it and that time it was like anything you make it was a sellers market so aapko bechna nahi padta tha apne aap mal bik jata tha kharab bana kuch bana we used to hear that ki jo banaya it was like uh, it was running themselves so grandfather ne start kara vision hamara starting se ye tha ki hum unko uh, toys ke jo hamare factories wale hain unko mal banaye unke liye quality unse improve kare so my grandfather my father he joined in 1965 so how it happened was like unhone uh, college kara he joined the business and they were all passionate so uh, it's like when uh, my tau ji and my father they uh, joined the business then japan was the country who was the leader into this thing so we used they used to go to japan take out the things which are possible to be made in india and uh, they we used to literally copy and uh, try to uh, follow the things how they are doing it so we used to import from japan as well as make in india also so that time we started with japan and india and then uh, gradually hong kong india and japan were the three countries who were making toys so that was the thing so uh, we were always focused on innovating and then uh, we our focus was our our core was like the stocks were ready with us many people were like ready with their money that time and they did not had the stocks so we were always flooded with the stocks because we used to give advances to the factories to our uh, mold makers and all so these things helped us a lot stocks were ready innovation was there quality was our prime focus and wide range of products we keep on increasing our range and variety so in 90s it happened like the globalization was there so people the factories and the distributors they they were running to china so that time also we made a uh, decision that we won't we won't quit this uh, manufacturing part and uh, helping the manufacturers so we uh, sustained with that and that time it was so much so when i joined was in 99 so that time jab maine join kara usse pehle sellers market tha 95 se globalization aaya china open hua china aane ke baad uh, so many things were happening orders were like matlab small small importers but i am uh, what i mean to say retailers importers ban rahe the so we used to copy jaisa hamara purana style tha ki bhai jo marzi mal bheja the goods used to return so we had to change so jab maine join kara 99 mein so humne ye decide kara ki hame china mein nahi jana made in india pe stick karna hai because yahan par jo mal banega that will be quality products aur usko hum china se compete karenge in our range so what uh, what we were doing so that time thoda sa main apni history bhi batata hu so i learned when i was a kid i used to go with my parents my, with my father to the uh, whenever we used to travel to foreign countries so i my most of the time used to uh, uh, get into the toy stores like toys r s jo big big stores the even uh, us gaye ya singapore gaye so i used to see what what they are selling aur wahan se hum uh, at the age of 12 and 14 i used to pick up the toys सो so, वहाँ से मेरा पैशन स्टार्ट हो गया था कि ये टॉयज जो है यहाँ पर इंडिया में क्या बनेगा क्या नहीं बन सकता वी यूज टू गेट हंड्रेड्स ऑफ सैम्पल्स और उसमें से नॉट इवन टेन सैम्पल्स वर मेड सो आई यूज टू लर्न अ लॉट सिंस माई चाइल्ड हुड सो आई वॉज वेरी क्लियर कि आप स्कूलिंग करना है स्कूलिंग के बाद आई विल ज्वाइन माई बिजनेस टॉयज का सो दैट वॉज काइंड ऑफ अ थिंग एंड टॉयज में सिंस आई ज्वाइन द फर्स्ट डे आई आई वॉज लाइक आई वॉज लाइक अ डिस्गाइज अनएम्प्लॉयड so my father used to take the order i used to ask 
you have taken order same the other party came my manager has taken the order so what am i doing something different what is your contribution <laughs> so what is my contribution so i said i am a disguised in unemployed person so he said it's happening like this only it happens so i was not satisfied so first day what i did was i learned uh, the pricing for all my range which nobody was uh, uh, knowing the exact prices of the products it was around 350 products so other day i was taking the interview of my uh, manager and uh, uh, other people like what's the price of this one say about what's the price of this toy so i was uh, much aware of the price range so then i was always curious ki i will not uh, do the same way what they are doing so what i did is uh, introduced more distributors and at that time nobody was thinking about the online website so we introduced our online website and uh, fortunately in the exhibition the, the toy fair vasundra rajedi she introduced our uh, fair at the fair our uh, website so that got little popular so that was a kind of a jump for me so we made more distributors and uh, wholesalers so after that again so it was in my blood so to uh, do something different so that time uh, rather than sitting in the office i used to go and meet the hypermarket people and they were like uh, we don't know you and those kind of a things i used to leave the samples as a free of things sir just i am leaving the samples just have a market survey or kind of a things so they that time it was all chinese market it was dominated by chinese and they used to ask ki indian toy bikta hai main kaha sir aap rakhiye you buy the small quantities sor we will not do sale on return no but even a smallest quantity we will uh, supply it to you so the first order we got from uh, big bazaar was 75 lakh rupees uh, that was a big jump for me in 2002 because i joined in 99 and that was a kind of a, i could prove my family also that he is doing something something different so after that it was a uh, that uh, number of hypermarkets we were uh, getting engaged with and i got through with many hypermarkets and because of that the same uh, buyers were shifting it to the other uh, uh, hypermarkets also like big bazaar then vishal mega mart then v mart all those like directors and all they were opening up their own stores so it was very easy for me to once i got entered into this hypermarket and i could uh, uh, get introduced uh, by the other hypermarkets also so after that what happened was uh, other break for me is like the government tenders so i got a call from jharkhand one of the wholesaler he asked me uh, do you want to i want to buy this product and that was a uh, i i would say discontinued product for us so i okay i offered him a good price and he placed me a huge order so after we supplied i just asked him so what will you do with this product i was not able to sell 100 pieces of this product in the market so he then introduced me that this is a concept of a government they buy and then they distributed free of cost to the anganwadis in the government and the education department so i was very curious again ki uh, i asked him that you buy the entire range from me if it is go, uh, distributed free of cost so then he told me about the tender i went with him different states just to know how it is happening and all so that time the government departments were like we are not here to give you the training centers we are not the training centers only those who have the experience and the experience of the tenders so i told them that we are ma manufacturing the products so why you are not uh, allowing us to participate so that kind of a thing is uh, restrictive in the governments so only who have the experience are allowed to enter in the tenders so fortunately i got a breakthrough in 2012 so i got uh, order directly from the government of uttarakhand and that was kind of a some jack also and uh, the kind of a things we were pushing and they knew it ki we are the people who are pushing them from last 5 years so i got a break for government tenders in 2012 and after that we were supplying it to many uh, uh, one good thing happened in this journey i met so many tenderers who were doing it and they taught me what are the restrictions they they used to tell me what are the in and outs of this thing so i was a supplier to them indirectly to the government i learned a lot and then we got a chance to enter directly also so since then we are supplying it to various states from jammu kashmir to tamil nadu we have done the government supplies also uh, right now we have 400 plus uh, buyers also uh, we have participated in the uh, dubai uh, fair and all so we are getting the export orders also indirectly we are exporting to other countries and there is a lot of opportunity coming up because of the china and the cold war and the covid situation so people are shifting their interest in india 
सो इंडिया अभी अपॉर्चुनिटी इज ह्यूज फॉर गेटिंग इन टू दिस थिंग सो दीज वर सम ऑफ द चैलेंजेस विच आई टोल्ड यू ऑल्सो दैट दे नेवर अलाउड मी बिकॉज ऑफ द ट्रेनिंग सेंटर्स दे टोल्ड मी दैट इट्स नॉट अ ट्रेनिंग सेंटर वेल कनेक्टेड पीपल हु आर ऑलरेडी इन दे डेंट वॉन्ट अस टू एंटर इन टू द बिजनेस एंड वंस वी गॉट दी ऑर्डर ऑल्सो सो वी फेस एवरी थिंग लाइक मीडिया the complaints from all the departments so they were like trying to pushing us out so now we are well experienced of handling the government departments and the kind of a challenges it will come so now our competitors also know if if they are going to do it so they, we are well aware of so it's lot of learning doing all the things so always a learning our focus is always the quality so we were not afraid of when the inquiry was being done on us when we were supplying it to the government department so we were very sure that we have supplied the quality products so whatever inquiry everything is gonna be done so this was our focus quality products we have given in the government sector also we were not afraid of these are the some of the categories on also uh, it is uh, been shown in at your desk also rc cars also because china uh, there is a problem and uh, uh, 2021 our prime minister and the government of india has introduced the bis uh, since 2021 january so because of that chinese people are not able to export toys to india right now so it's a great opportunity for us we are also uh, converting the things into our favor and so many corporates are coming they are buying it from us export opportunities are coming reason being the freight cost from china to other countries have increased and from india it is uh, economical so they are giving preference to us also they want to uh, have a alternate uh, source in uh, uh, terms of sourcing so because our vision and our future plans is like uh, we want to be a facilitator for all the good factories we have a very good connections with uh, main factories in india so, so we want to come as a d2c brand for all the indian made toys and we are planning to we are thinking to uh, come up with our stores also d2c online website also and uh, exports as i told you the opportunity are there for the exports so this is uh, man ki baat abhi uh, modi ji ne do teen bar kari hai aur usme hamara focus on toys have come uh, from different categories and different people are uh, starting their factories in india which is also a opportunity for us and aapko dhyan hoga man ki baat ke ek episode mein maine kaha tha ki bharat ke paas पावर हाउस बनने की पूरी क्षमता है मैंने स्पोर्ट्स और गेम्स में भारत की समृद्ध विरासत की खास तौर पर चर्चा की भारत के स्थानीय खिलौने परंपरा और प्रकृति दोनों के अनुरूप होते हैं इको फ्रेंडली होते हैं मैं आज आपके साथ भारतीय खिलौनों की सफलता को शेयर करना चाहता हूं हमारे यंगस्टर्स स्टार्टअप्स और एंटरप्रस के बूते हमारी टॉय इंडस्ट्री ने जो कल दिखाया है जो सफलता हासिल की है उसकी किसी ने कल्पना भी नहीं की होती आज जब भारतीय खिलौनों की बात होती है तो हर तरफ वोकल फॉर लोकल की ही गुण सुनाई दे रही है आपको ये जानकर भी अच्छा लगेगा कि भारत में अब विदेश से आने वाले खिलौनों की संख्या लगातार कम हो रही है पहले जहां तीन हजार करोड़ रुपए से ज्यादा के खिलौने बाहर से आते थे वहीं अब इनका आया सत्तर प्रतिशत तक घट गया है अब खुशी की बात यह है कि इसी दौरान भारत ने 2600 करोड़ रुपए से अधिक के खिलौनों को विदेशों में निर्यात किया है जबकि पहले 300-400 करोड़ रुपए के खिलौने ही भारत से बाहर जाते थे सो दिस इज मोदी जी ने फोकस करा इससे हमारा सबसे अच्छा एडवांटेज ये रहा बॉस कि हमारा जो रिकॉग्नाइजेशन है फॉर इंडियन टॉयज विच वी मतलब पीपल यूज टू आस्क की मोस्टली 85 परसेंट ऑफ द टॉयज वर कमिंग फ्रॉम चाइना सो नाउ वी हैव अ डोमेस्टिक मार्केट ऑल्सो ऑल्सो वी हैव वी आर गेटिंग अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर एक्सपोर्ट्स सो दिस इज रिसेंटली फ्रॉम लास्ट टू ईयर्स इट हैज हैपन अगेन मन की बात अभी इनका है रिसेंटली फ्रॉम अ लास्ट फिफ्टीन डेज बैक 
So that was kind of a awareness which is coming up for us. It's a big exposure. Yeah, yeah, it's a big exposure. Opportunities which uh, coming up for us. So any anything? Samit, uh, yeah. One question. Yeah. I know that there is a toy city being uh, yeah. made at uh, Jaipur Airport. Right. Uh, how does it how does it help you out? So it's a kind of a cluster based uh, manufacturing hub. So uh, it helps the manufacturers to consolidate all the things together at one place. So also the airport is coming up. People have taken the factories and the trading hub has come uh, coming up over there. It's kind of a, a Chinese model like EWU. You come at one place, you land in uh, Noida, Greater Noida. You go to the factory, do your work and you can go back. So it's kind of a, a cluster based uh, opportunity which government is giving at a subsidized rate. Similarly, they are giving us in uh, Kopal also, it's in Karnataka. Similarly, they are giving us subsidized rates in Indore, MP also. So government is pushing for the manufacturing of the toys industry, which is a very small industry, but if they are giving us focus, so it's getting highlighted. Also, it's getting highlighted for the big corporates also. So recently, uh, one of our corporate, uh, I don't want to take the name, they, they were doing good numbers and they were not doing, they stopped the buying for the toys. They said EBITDA is not coming or something like that. But because of the monkey bath and the focus, everyone started buying again. So that's kind of an opportunity in marketing what our PM has done for us. So what I remember, like, like guys, last, uh, like, three, four years back, uh, he was a guy and someone just told me a story, third person told me a story, that someone told him that uh, we won't take Indian toys. And what was your reply? Can you, can you tell everyone in the room here? They said that we are only buying Chinese toys. Mm. So me and Weber were there in Calcutta. So they were only buying toys from China. So I told them ki, today if you are not buying then it's fine. Tomorrow the time will come, you will be after us and we will be overbooked with, uh, with our Indian toys. But then, <laughs> we might not give you good, but then client is a client. So when he called us, so we were open to that. So I told you, <laughs> so to be honest, I did not say no. <laughs> And I am always open for taking the good challenges also. See, some government tenders come, we are sitting idle and two, three tenders comes up together. So I am always open. So my factory is and my labor says that it won't happen. I say order is important. When we are taking once, everything will be adjusted. We will work hours and day and night. It will be done. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. So, uh, Samit, uh, what is your vision for India? <laughs> what is your why? Why we should buy from your toys? Why you should buy? My our aim is to uh, make our toys available in maximum places, the maximum retail stores, online, and it is affordable by each and everyone. Not each and everyone, but uh, as economical we can do. And also we are giving the quality. If you take a talk about the brands which are selling at a very higher price, we are similar to that quality. And, but we are giving it a very economical price. It is like uh, less than half of that or might be one third of the price of what branded toys are giving. Wow. And we are giving 100% quality assurance to each and every one. It's, it's always, uh, we, w once we are pitching to any retailer or wholesaler, we say we give 100% guarantee of, of the quality. Anything broken, anything damaged, we take it back. This is our product which was made in 1981. Okay. So right now also it is like selling like hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it happened, it happened. And when I joined, I was like, Itne khilone leta kaun hai? <laughs> Itne khilone kharita kaun hai? Meko to ek chahi hota hai. So it was like huge population. Why is the hottest seller? Because of the, cons see, it's kind of a film. Honestly, if I tell you, there is no answer to it. Because if you're making a, any film, so you don't know which will be a super hit or which will be I a... I believe there is science, there is nothing good luck, like, you know. No, no, I, I, everything. so what I feel is, because of the quality, the kind of a model it is made, the pricing, everything matters and then it clicks also. Okay. So, uh, yeah, if you are buying something, see, we learn from it also, ki what is uh, selling good for us and we keep on developing those kind of a product range. You know, all the presentations we've had since last six months, this was the most heartfelt presentation. Very passionate, very passionate and dil se boli ki. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>